This hack tip is brought to you by Hack5 and viewers like you. Support us directly at hackshop.com. Welcome to Hack Tip, the show where we break down concepts, tools, and techniques for hackers, gurus, and IT ninjas. I'm Shannon Morse, and today we are going to go over evading firewalls in Nmap. Yay! It's going to be fun with firewalls. So firewalls are put in place because of tools like Nmap. Nmap has the power to give you a mapping of a network system. You can see everything from the operating system versions to all the open ports, which can be really, really fun. Firewalls and intrusion detection systems are made to prevent Nmap and other programs like it from getting that kind of information. To evade these firewalls though, we have several different options. So let's go ahead and start taking a look at them. So first off, go ahead and type in this command. It's gonna be sudo, you do have to be root for this command, and then nmap tech f and your target. And press enter. Put in your password, and it'll run the output. Also, you can type in nmap send eth, which we have done in the past, and this does pretty much the same thing. So this command is going to send smaller 8-byte probes instead of a whole packet. There is also this other command that looks something like this. This is also a sudo command, nmap tac tac mtu and eight, and then your target. And then you run it and it gives you an output. So mtu stands for maximum transmission unit, which although it is similar to tac f, it gives you a similar output, it will allow you to specify the transmission. You can use any multiples of eight, so you can change your bytes to eight bytes, 16 bytes, 32 bytes, 64 bytes, as long as it's a multiple of eight. So I just scan the target with the tac tac mtu option in the eight byte packets. So this means it's sending a lot of very, very small packets instead of a whole bunch of big packets, and hopefully it can invade any kind of intrusion detection systems while it's doing it. Now you may need to also add send eth to this command as well to make it work if you're on a different version of Linux. Now another command I wanted to share is also pretty similar. You start with nmap, type in tac capital D, capital RND colon 10, 10.73.31.145. Oh, and this one is sudo as well. So we're gonna add sudo to the front of it. Hit enter, and then it gives you your output. So this is called the decoy option. That's why you have the capital D. That lets you scan using multiple decoy IP addresses. So nmap is going to send several packets from several destinations with this command. To the target, it's going to look like it's being scanned from several different machines all at once, which is basically normal. And the one that's actually doing the attack will be harder to find. It's pretty cool, right? You can also specify exact decoys being used with this other command, which is also pretty similar. This one is nmap, tac d, and then you use your two decoys. So I would do decoy number one, which could be uh, one IP address, and then a comma, decoy number two, a different IP address, rnd10, and then my actual target. So very, very similar. Now you may also want to try this thing called an idle zombie scan. This is going to exploit an idle system by using it to scan your target. Ah, I love zombies. It'll only work if the zombie is actually in an idle state when you run it. So this command is going to look like, you start with nmap, type in lowercase i, or lowercase s, capital I, and then whoever you want your zombie to be, and then your actual target. So 145 is my target and 55 is my zombie. Now I hit enter. And let's add sudo to that command. There we go. Okay, so if I scroll up, you're going to see a whole bunch of packets going through. Look at all the pretty packets, tons. Scroll all the way up. and we have plenty of packets. So it's basically turning that one machine into a zombie while the other one is actually being targeted. Other than specifying the byte size, we can also specify the source port number with another command. This one is nmap tac tac source tac port 
and then your port 54, and 10.73, 31, 145, my normal target. So Nmap is usually going to pick up random ports to send out a probe on, but this is going to force it to use a sp specific port. So it's specific port number 54. Now TAC G will also let you change your port as well so you have a different source port. Now that's about it for these first few. We're going to take a quick break, but we'll be right back after a word from our sponsor. The Hack Shop is Hack5's premier store for all your pen testing needs, including one of my favorites, the USB rubber ducky, which looks like a flash drive and it types like a keyboard. It types scripts into a computer ridiculously quickly, like this week's favorite, which is actually the USB rubber ducky toolkit made by James Hall. You can find this over in the forums at Hack5 forums in the USB rubber ducky section. So basically this toolkit lets you go to a website and choose whatever you want this USB rubber ducky script to implement. So I could say I wanted to find all the information about the computer version. Click generate and it's going to make you a brand new script. So you didn't even have to write it yourself. And then you can download the bin or the text file or both of them if you want. Just install it on your USB rubber ducky and there you go. You're ready to go with your new ducky script. Mm, fun. Now we couldn't do this show without your support, so we would like to thank you with something special. Use the coupon code SNUBS with any order for your very own signed hack tip stickers. Kind of like this one. Thank you so much for supporting the show. And we're back with evading firewalls. Now let's try this new one. Another command, of course. This one starts with nmap as usual. We're going to tack tack data tack length, if I spell that right, type in a number 25, and then your target. Gives you a similar output as usual, but this one is going to add in something different. This adds random data to probe packets, because sometimes targets look for a specific size of a packet to actually accept it. So they'll look at it, say, is it a certain size? No, then they will tell you to go away. So the size is in bytes, and it can be pretty much any size that you want it to be, so you may want to do a certain size depending on the certain target that you're trying to get into. You can also randomize your target scan by using a different script, different command. This one starts with nmap again. Type in randomize, tac hosts, 10.73, 31. Now I'm gonna do a range, 100 through 175, and then hit enter. So this is going to take a little bit longer. This is used to randomize your target scan order. And if you want to spoof a MAC address of an ethernet device, you can also use a little bit different of a command. So this one already ran, we see that it did randomize my target. So we have 118, 16, 145 is up here. So it's not in its usual order. That's pretty cool. The last one is nmap. Start with nmap again, and then type in S capital T, TAC capital P capital N, and then TAC TAC spoof, TAC MAC or dash zero, that zero comes in handy, and then your target. Press enter and it runs like usual. So it looks a little bit weird. Basically what this means is the zero at the end of this is going to tell Nmap to generate a random MAC address whenever it's scanning. And lastly, we have sending bad checksums. Yay, fun. So with this one, you type in Nmap and then dash dash bad sum to your target. Press enter and it runs. So this bad sum checksum scanning technique is going to send packets with the incorrect checksums. Sometimes TCP IP uses checksums to make sure that you are who you say you are. So you won't receive anything back though in this case, it just looks like the normal thing, meaning that the system is probably substantially configured correctly. Now, that's about it for evading firewalls. I would like to know what you wanna see on my Nmap tutorials, so send me an email or you can comment below. Email us over at tips at hack5.org. And be sure to check out our sister show, Hack5, for more great stuff just like this. I'll be there reminding you to trust your Technolust. Bye-bye. Turn it down for what? Turn it down for what?